When people find out that I'm the president of Virginia State University, they often ask, what's so great about VSU? Well, I remind them that we've been building a better world since 1882. That's why I became president, to continue this legacy of preparing future leaders, to be competitive in a challenging and ever-changing global society. That's who we are, that's how we've always been. Committed, yes, absolutely committed to building a better world. Trojan football is, 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 a, is a combination of uh, things that I've picked up from everywhere that I've worked. Here we go, let's go! Hey, hey, push, that's it right there! That's perfect! That's perfect! You practice winning every day. That's right, right there. That's simple, guys. You have to have the willingness to do what you have to do in order to be successful. Creating a tough Two. football team, both mental, mentally and physically. Read their relationship and midpoint there. Yeah, one, two. You have to be the have the willingness to follow. A big, strong, fast, attacking bunch on offense and defense. As well as to be a leader within the program. Right. We're trying to make these kids men. We try to let these guys know and understand that. The, the beauty of the whole picture is that you're going to make mistakes. Do you see what you do to your team when you don't do what you're supposed to do? But we've got to learn from our mistakes. So if we're still making the same mistakes as a senior that we were as a freshman, then we haven't really gotten through what we want to get through to them. You were too far here. No matter what you're doing, be the best that you can be. Everybody has a goal of what they want to get to. You're in a situation right now where you have the ability to continue to be a playmaker, but you've got to do it within this scheme. But it's the work that you put into it the day by day. It's the drills. Get on board, it's homework. All of those things get you to the goal. Academically, obviously, you're going to graduate. All right, you'll be in graduate school next year. I've been fortunate enough to work for a great amount of head coaches. Hey! Hey, guys that have been able to teach me the business, so my philosophy is a combination of a bunch. Two's up, balls on the three. Coach Scott has developed student athletes where when he's not in the dressing room, his leaders are in the dressing room fulfilling the mission of the football program. First down, put the ball back right there. We, we look forward to developing young men off of the field as well as on the field, and that's why I, I try to surround myself with the, the most dynamic staff possible. My biggest thing with in, in working with those guys is to try to get them to appreciate the value of the work. So the philosophy is work hard all of the time, be competitive all of the time, academically as well as athletically. And that's what he preaches on a daily basis, and his student athletes have certainly bought into that philosophy. Coach Scott is a great leader. He he brings a lot to the program. <laughs> Excitement. Bang, thousand one, thousand two, lose it. He brings passion. I hope that guy's, I, I, I hope you're that good during the actual team period. Real disciplined, no nonsense type of guy. Get a little bit of width on your release. You should be the last guy out. So if all we have is a five, you have the five. The coach's philosophy since he stepped in the door was right now. They want to play fast, want to play physical, play as hard as you can. It say you're doing bad in the class. School-wise, everything's good, right? Yes, sir. Get it together right now. What's your progress report going to say? All right, all A's and the coming B's. All A's? Honest. Who, who's doing your work? I'm doing my own work. <laughs> or we need a play made. We got wide house jumping off sides. We got to hold it. We got, a, got you jumping off sides. Why is it any different? Get it together. Give me 12. 
right now. Let's go right out. Yeah. Let's go right out 20. So his philosophy is right now, it's not, we don't wait till later, we don't wait a second later, a day later, a month later, next season, everything happens right now. You know, I want this to be, you know, your, your team. I mean, it's, you know, it's, that, that's the only way that we're gonna get to where we need to be. He's a coach that really will go out of his, go out of his way to actually make sure all of all of the players, all of my teammates are everyone is straight. You're a likable guy. Everybody on campus loves you to death. He really cares about these uh, young men. You just have to make sure that you balance. He likes to have everyone on the same page. Those young guys, they need you to be able to do things to help them. He just always keeps everything honest and straightforward and doesn't doesn't stray us in the wrong direction. There's a time that your social life should be a precedent, you know. There's a time that football should be the most important thing. There are times that, you know, schoolwork takes over priority and they're all diff at different points during the school year. He relates to us as an individual and also as a coach. So it's like when he gets on us, it's more of, it's, it's for the good of the football team because he doesn't just get on us about football or academics. Sometimes he just texts us to say, have a good day or you guys did well today. He understands that people make mistakes and do things that uh, you may not you may not want to do, but he he understands uh, from a player, so he's kind of like a player's coach. So he'll, he'll talk with you, he's a great mentor, he'll just hit every aspect of being a coach. He really um, appreciate whatever Virginia State is doing for, for him because uh, I can tell by how he reacts to the players and the coaches, how he treat us and all that good stuff. So he's really happy to have this opportunity to, to be coaching here at Virginia State. Our practices are based in five minute increments. And the horn goes off every five minutes and every coach knows it. In a different five minute block. Wave him on, he gets set. You're working on something different. All right, we're getting here. Okay, he's coming, he's coming. Okay, and then boom, we're right. Here we go, give me 11. It could be an individual drill. One foot this way. It could be a perimeter drill. I said right wing. It could be a team drill. 26 key on one, right? Practices are set up to basically teach the game. We want to see whether we can have consistent efforts on both sides of the ball. I like to take the kids through a progression. That's all I want. Next guy, come on. Get it ready to go. Let's go. And that's like basic how to tackle. We don't jump in the drills. We don't jump in the stuff where we put in schemes and all that kind of stuff. We take it a progression at a time. Just take a step outward. Make him slide his outside foot so he won't get cut. And with the linebacker, we start with the stance. We'll get in a stance, then we'll motor our feet. I make sure that eyes are where they're supposed to be. Then we go to that come to balance, attacking the, the running back, learning how to proper head placement. I start from step one. We're, we're very lucky to have Jerry Holmes here. Uh, Jerry Holmes is has over 13 years of NFL playing experience. He has five years of NFL coaching experience, uh, multiple years of college football experience. Compete! I wasn't drafted. He's one of the most straightforward people that, that you'll ever meet. The guys used to tease me about because they used to say that I was like the 120th player that they just picked in 1980. Uh, he's honest, he's caring, he's really into the development of our young men. He runs our Fellowship of Christian Athletes chapter. Coach Holmes is actually, he's bringing the spiritual side to the teams. I think he has the ability to draw things out of players that may not be there. You know, I've seen Coach Holmes take a young man who may not as be, who may not be as talented and develop him in the same ways that, that, that he's able to do with a young man who has more talent. I tell the kids this, I said, well, all y'all on scholarship about me because 
I don't know none of you, and so I'm gonna look at you fresh. I don't know if you was a walk-on or anything. And if you impress me, I'm gonna go to Coach Scott and say, we need to have you. We need to have this kid on the plan, on the plan field. I'm looking for a guy that's a fighter. Please get on the stage, hey! Playing defensive line is about fighting. Every play is a fight for you. You have to win more fights than you lose. If it's red, all y'all come, go. Coach Braxton's a straightforward, no nonsense, you're a very hands-on kind of guy. Once you get past him, your eyes go to him. Do your job. He's a graduate of VMI, so you can see his discipline and military structure in his teaching style. Run it! Four, five, five, four. Stand still. Rip. Where's the Trojan? You gotta make it fun for them, too. So, you know, if I spend all my time barking at them about the things that they're not doing right, Get it together. eventually they tune you out. So, you gotta give them a little bit of sugar to do something good. You let them know. You do something bad. You let them know. Every once in a while, you gotta be able to throw a joke in there. You're going inside. Inside. It's Inside. Inside. If there's a three and out, I'm gonna move the ball 45 yards the opposite way. I'm saying just like it's a punt, and then the other, so then, so the ball will actually flip. My job as the head coach is to, to surround our kids with the best possible people, period. I want you to punch them right away within that five yard window. I refuse to have anyone on our staff that, that doesn't share those same thought processes. Step up, Peter, step up. All right, we're here, all right, we're playing with, okay. We start bailing, he releases, okay, then boom. All right, our, our job as a, as a staff is to develop, mentor, teach, and, and as I said, make these guys better off at 22 than they were at 18 when they got here. So it's a philosophy that we all embody. Get the ball tucked away, turn up the field. Stop walking out the huddle like y'all Dallas Cowboys. Can't even hire. This is our time to, to be able to handle team stuff. But when I sit around the staff table, I'm very lucky to have the guys that I have with me. Red nine, set go. Christian Parker's young. He's hardworking, he's passionate, he's energetic. And he's what every head coach wants in a, in a young football coach. So if it bounces hot and it hits us, they're down here. I don't want him to get you right now, but y'all are going to be flipping. We brought him to Virginia State, and our kids have fallen in love with him. Come on, come on, come on. Mentoring to me is gratifying because I'm able to help. Let's ride, let's ride. Let's young men grow. Good, good. And mature. So you got to sink. He's, he's just like them. If we don't have anything pushing us deep, then you can settle. He's demanding. Get a little more space. All right, we're going to They respect him. Hey, hey, don't turn to run. Keep our eyes. He, he's a football guy. Football is very important to him, but the development of our young men is also very important to him. He holds his players and coaches to a high standard. Which? which is a competition thing, but it also makes us better every day. Okay, Latrell, come on in. All right. Coach yeah. Latrell Scott right. has been a tremendous asset to the university. I think the main thing that, that uh, I really like about him is that he's really interested in the well-being of his, his young athletes. Okay, schedule for tonight, 7.45. Uh, study hall, finish up at 9.15. Uh, he really works at addressing all of the issues, having them grow as individuals, as human beings, not just uh, football players. If you do not have your progress reports filled out 100%, I'm gonna suspend you. So you got a week to track your teachers down because I need to know who's gonna be ineligible at the end of the school year. Football is, is part of the learning experience for our students and, and part of that has to do with graduation rates and, and our graduation rates amongst our football players is very high, our retention rate is very high. 
They do very well academically uh, when you compare them to other uh, institutions. We're here to see young men graduate. We, we're here to see young men go out into society and do things, and Dr. Miller has been extremely supportive of us uh, academically. So this is a class program. You guys are class act. Uh, I know you're doing your best. You'll represent us well. When you look across the Atlantic region, there are 36 institutions. Of those 36 institutions, our student athletes are number four in graduation rate. So we're certainly pleased with what Coach Scott is doing with the football program. It looks good when our student athletes are walking across the stage and their parents say to us, thank you for making the commitment prior to us coming to Virginia State and then keeping your word because my student, my child is graduating from Virginia State University with a degree. For many of us, education is the key to success. It has brought us light, transport, new discoveries. And through education, we find a freedom. From education, we also understand that hard work pays off. This hard work transforms us, makes us want more, to do more. To see more and even know more. Education makes us want to drink from the fountain of knowledge, to expand our awareness so that we can move dark clouds to light, turn our pain into comfort, our gloom into sparkle, our fruitlessness into abundance. And through education, we get to know our history, our culture. We get to find answers. Education bolsters our confidence and takes us soaring to new frontiers. Education moves us and gives us the tools so that we can tackle the world. Welcome Jamal Warner, asking you to secure your future at Virginia State University, building a better world since 1882. don't understand that football is a year-round sport. Basically, the ways that uh, the, the, the offense can score, all right, obviously touchdown, okay, we'll give the offense two points for a first down. Football season really starts in January. So the first week of January, uh, you start your weightlifting, uh, your off-season conditioning, and all these types of things that are really non-football related. It's just uh, you're trying to get bigger, you're trying to get stronger, you're trying to get faster. This process runs from about January through about the end of February, and uh, the early part of March, you're actually getting ready for spring football. And the spring, spring football entails actually 15 practices, and it concludes with the spring game. Use this as another opportunity to get better. The spring game went very well. Use this as another opportunity to improve. It started off with a talk from Coach Scott in the locker room. Use this as another opportunity to compete. One thing about scrimmaging, it, it shows who can do what. Use this as an opportunity to solidify your role on this team. And what people can do what position. It's never going to be you and Fudge. It's never We've got a lot of things we want to accomplish. And it starts today. There he is. Coach Scott is um, very competitive. Hey, give me 11, give me 11. Uh, 11, 11. Coach Holmes is his man. Somebody's got to lose. But he's not going out here to lose his game. So I'm going to tell you like this right here. This is my main man, all right? But I'm trying to win today. I respect Coach Scott being the head coach and all that good stuff, but definitely both of us going to put our best effort out against each other. You guys you guys in these white jerseys, you ride with me. Basically, he was saying that the offense was going to ride with him, and Coach Holmes said, well, y'all ride with us, and we're going to go out there. We're going to see who's going to fold it once we get on the field. You guys you guys in the blue better ride with him. Hey, 
Hey, hey, have a great time. I'll see you guys at the end. There you go. I want Liz Wide 551 stick X5. We won the scrimmage, by the way. <laughs> if we contemplate our past to understand ourselves, there we will find how far we have come. How far we need to go. In what we have become. In what we will eventually be. If we search even deep, consider all the elements that make up our human potential, there we will find an awe-inspiring discovery. Knowledge is to be sought, gained, embraced through education. And this education transforms everything. Ignorance becomes awareness. Awareness awakens possibilities. Through education, life unfolds, expands, takes shape. And through this self-revelation, we gradually appreciate a saying passed down from generation to generation, an adage whose meaning becomes apparent. And the saying is this, that when we combine a willingness to learn with the pursuit of knowledge, magic happens. I'm Angela Bassett here to ask you to support Virginia State University building a better world since 1882. Well, obviously when we travel, the university provides us with uh, excellent buses. Our drivers are top notch. Our buses are top notch. You know, the kids have the ability to, to, to connect the Wi-Fi, uh, to watch movies, uh, do whatever they need to do schoolwork wise. So, we try to make our travel experience uh, as nice as possible. When we get on the road, it's kind of better because you're away from everything. You don't really got to worry about a lot of distractions. You just you and your team. The upperclassmen usually have their own seat. Younger guys have to share, but you bring your own music. It may be a movie on, or bring your, I bring my favorite pillow and um, blanket every bus trip. You going on there for one reason. That's for business. That's the only reason we go on the road. Hey, we're here. This is exactly where we want to be, all right? They're both okay. wide, but that's official. Yeah. Playing a nationally ranked program because we're a nationally ranked program. See the ball kick, watch a squib. I think when you're putting a schedule right, together, it's just, very uh, important that you pay attention to who your non-conference opponents are. To the house, on three, to the house. One, two, three. Go! No! During the season, you're going to play a challenging schedule within your conference, but I think for value, for the value of your team and your program, you want to make sure that you're playing national programs. 20! 20! We chose Cal PA and we chose Lenore Ryan because of who they are and the success that the programs have had in the past. Hey, push it! It's overturned, ready! The tackle's got to come on. You're not tight! Tell me, did you get there? It's kind of better to be on the road sometimes, but then it's better to be at home. You get only so many opportunities to prove who you are in life. Today is another one. He cares about his guys an awful lot. We told you last week, 
that it would take an extraordinary amount of focus, an extraordinary amount of discipline, okay? We didn't get it done. Here's the he's, you know, he's good at getting the guys, pulling the guys together. We weren't completely focused. We weren't disciplined enough. A lot of the things that we do, we couldn't do without him. Okay, but one thing about this game is, guys, you get another shot. He draws people to him. He makes people believe in him and in themselves. He brought a whole different aspect of football. Nothing's the same. Since I've been here, football has changed entirely when Coach Scott stepped into the doors. We always talk to you guys about controlling what you can. Nobody can make it stop running. Nobody can make the sun out. 100 miles an hour, make sure we got contained on the outside picket. That's God's way of saying, hey, I'm raining down on you guys. Okay? That's somebody trying to say, hey guys, I'm giving you a little bit of more than you need. It's not 100 degrees ahead today, guys. I'm going to put a little bit of water on your back to help you go and do what you need to do. My experience here is a family, a brotherhood, a bond that I love. That's, that's what I tell everyone else that comes in. Once you join this team, uh, you're really on a family. It's a family that we all cherish and love. Never forget where you come from and always be able to go back there. Coach Scott's greatest attribute as a coach will have to be his passion. All right, because if you are who you say you are, you never leave that place. The last time I saw this team play in these uniforms, you guys played as hard as you could. You guys played as fast as you could. You guys played as physical as you could. And I guarantee you, if we go out here and get that done again today, guys, we'll win this football game. It's not up to me. It's not up to one guy. It's up to 60 guys in this locker room that are dressed, ready to go to battle together. No front. No front and allowed. Do your job and we'll make it happen. Let's go to work. Through education, we find value. Innovation is born. Understanding is developed. Ignorance is removed. Unmasking by revelation, new knowledge that enlightens our thinking, expands our minds, catapulting us from apathy to action. Education increases our mental capacity. It crushes the thing that prevents us from becoming who we were born to be. Who we are in essence. Immeasurable beings. Intelligent beyond imagination. With worth and dignity. And through education, we also discover a force in our lives not always obvious. It's power. Omnipotent. The power I speak of is self-worth. And when a value is placed on accomplishment through education, a new person is born with both magnitude and significance. Shedding the skin of ignorance with a ray of unlimited hope. Hi, I'm Hill Harper asking you to support Virginia State University. Building a better world since 1882.